Story 1. In the quiet town of Willow Creek, nestled amidst dense woods and rolling hills, stood a quaint old house at the edge of the forest. The house, known as Oakwood Manor, had been abandoned for decades, rumored to be haunted by the spirits of its former occupants. Despite the warnings whispered among the townsfolk, the house remained a point of fascination for adventurous souls seeking a thrill. One chilly October evening, a group of teenagers gathered around a bonfire, swapping tales of the supernatural. Among them was Alex, a curious and fearless soul, always eager for an adrenaline rush. As the fire crackled and sparks danced in the air, the conversation turned to Oakwood Manor. I heard it's cursed, whispered one girl, her voice barely audible over the wind rustling through the trees. Nah, it's just an old house, Alex scoffed, trying to mask his excitement. I bet I could spend the night there alone and not even flinch. The challenge was met with nervous laughter and skeptical glances, but Alex remained undeterred. Determined to prove his bravery, he announced his intention to spend the night in Oakwood Manor, alone. The following evening, armed with nothing but a flashlight and a sleeping bag, Alex ventured into the depths of the forest towards the looming silhouette of Oakwood Manor. The air was thick with anticipation as he approached the decrepit house, its windows like vacant eyes staring out into the night. Pushing open the creaking door, Alex stepped into the darkness of the foyer, his heart pounding in his chest. The air was stale and musty, and the floorboards groaned beneath his weight as he made his way through the dimly lit corridors. As the hours passed, Alex explored every room of the house, his flashlight cutting through the shadows like a beacon in the night. But despite his best efforts to remain calm, an unsettling feeling crept over him, like a whisper in the back of his mind warning him of unseen dangers. Just as Alex began to contemplate retreating to the safety of the outside world, he heard it, a faint, echoing sound that sent shivers down his spine. It was like the sound of footsteps, slow and deliberate, coming from somewhere deep within the house. Heart racing, Alex followed the sound, his footsteps echoing off the walls as he descended into the bowels of Oakwood Manor. The air grew colder with each step, and the darkness seemed to press in around him like a suffocating blanket. Finally, he reached the basement, a dank and musty chamber filled with shadows and secrets. As Alex shone his flashlight into the darkness, he saw something that made his blood run cold, a figure standing in the corner, its features obscured by the gloom. Frozen with fear, Alex watched as the figure slowly turned towards him, its eyes gleaming in the dim light. And then, with a sudden burst of movement, it lunged forward, its hands outstretched like claws reaching for their prey. With a scream that echoed through the empty halls of Oakwood Manor, Alex turned and ran, his heart pounding in his chest as he fled into the night. Behind him, he could hear the sound of laughter, a chilling, mocking sound that seemed to follow him all the way back to town. From that night on, Alex never spoke of his time in Oakwood Manor, and the house once again became nothing more than a whispered legend among the townsfolk. But deep down, he knew the truth that some secrets are best left undisturbed, and that the echoes of solitude can be the most terrifying of all. Story 2. In the heart of the countryside, where fields stretched endlessly and the only sounds were those of nature's own symphony, there stood a house shrouded in mystery and dread. It was known simply as the House of Shadows, a name whispered in fear by those who dared to speak of it at all. Legends swirled around its darkened windows and crumbling facade, tales of souls lost within its walls and the spirits that roamed its halls. On the outskirts of the nearest town, Sarah, a young woman with an insatiable curiosity, found herself drawn to the stories surrounding the House of Shadows. Despite the warnings of her friends and family, she felt an irresistible pull towards the abandoned mansion, a desire to uncover the truth hidden within its decaying walls. One moonlit night, as the stars glittered in the sky and the air was heavy with the scent of impending rain, Sarah made her decision. Armed with nothing but a flashlight and a sense of determination, she set out on foot towards the House of Shadows, her heart pounding with excitement and apprehension. 
As she approached the looming structure, Sarah could feel a chill creeping up her spine, a sensation that seemed to emanate from the very depths of the house itself. Ignoring the voice of doubt whispering in her mind, she pushed open the creaking door and stepped into the darkness beyond. Inside, the air was thick with dust and decay, and the floorboards groaned beneath Sarah's weight as she ventured further into the house. Shadows danced along the walls, their movements seeming to mock her presence as she explored the labyrinthine corridors and forgotten rooms. With each step, Sarah felt the weight of the house's history pressing down upon her, a suffocating reminder of the lives that had been lived and lost within its walls. But still, she pressed on, driven by a need to uncover the secrets hidden within. As the hours passed and the night grew darker, Sarah found herself hopelessly lost in the twisting passages of the House of Shadows. The walls seemed to close in around her, their shadows swallowing her whole as she stumbled blindly through the darkness. And then, just as Sarah began to fear that she would never find her way out, she heard it, a faint whisper echoing through the silence, a voice from beyond the grave calling out to her. Heart pounding, Sarah followed the sound her flashlight cutting through the gloom as she searched for the source of the haunting voice. And then, at last, she found herself standing before a door shrouded in darkness, its hinges creaking as if beckoning her inside. With trembling hands, Sarah pushed open the door and stepped into the room beyond, her breath catching in her throat at the sight that greeted her. Before her stood a figure cloaked in shadows, its features obscured by the darkness as it reached out a spectral hand towards her. Frozen with fear, Sarah watched as the figure advanced towards her, its movements slow and deliberate as it drew closer with each passing moment. And then, with a sudden burst of movement, it lunged forward, its icy touch sending a shockwave of terror coursing through Sarah's veins. With a scream that pierced the silence of the night, Sarah turned and fled, her footsteps echoing through the empty halls of the House of Shadows as she raced towards the safety of the outside world. Behind her, she could hear the sound of laughter, a chilling, mocking sound that seemed to follow her all the way back to town. From that night on, Sarah never spoke of her encounter with the House of Shadows, and the mansion once again faded into obscurity, its secrets buried deep within its decaying walls. But somewhere, in the darkest corners of her mind, she knew that the spirits of the house would never truly rest, their whispers lingering on the edge of consciousness, a haunting reminder of the night she dared to enter their domain. Story 3. It was a stormy night in the small town of Ravenwood, where the rain lashed against the windows and the wind howled through the streets like a banshee's wail. In a cozy suburban neighborhood nestled at the edge of the forest, a young woman named Emily found herself alone in her family's house. Her parents were away for the weekend, leaving her in charge of their home and her younger brother, Tommy. As the thunder rumbled in the distance and the power flickered ominously, Emily did her best to reassure Tommy that everything would be all right. But deep down, she couldn't shake the feeling of unease that settled over her like a shroud. As night fell and darkness descended upon Ravenwood, Emily tucked Tommy into bed and settled in for the long night ahead. She tried to distract herself with books and movies, anything to take her mind off the eerie silence that seemed to pervade the house. But as the hours passed and the storm raged on outside, Emily couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. Every creak of the floorboards and rustle of the wind seemed to echo through the empty house, a reminder of their vulnerability in the face of the unknown. Unable to ignore her instincts any longer, Emily decided to check the locks on the doors and windows, determined to ensure that they were secure against any potential intruders. As she made her way through the darkened house, her heart pounding in her chest, she couldn't shake the feeling that someone, or something, was lurking just beyond the shadows. Just as Emily reached the last window, a sudden movement caught her eye. Peering out into the stormy night, she thought she saw a figure standing in the shadows of the trees, its eyes gleaming in the darkness like twin points of light. Heart racing, Emily backed away from the window, her mind racing with fear and uncertainty. Could it be a trick of the light, or was there truly someone, or something, 
watching them from the darkness outside. Determined to protect her brother at all costs, Emily resolved to stay vigilant throughout the night, her senses heightened by the adrenaline coursing through her veins. But as the storm raged on and the hours dragged by, her nerves began to fray, and the shadows seemed to grow darker with each passing moment. And then, just when Emily thought she couldn't take another moment of the suffocating silence, she heard it, a faint scratching sound coming from somewhere within the house. Frozen with fear, she listened intently as the sound grew louder and more insistent, like claws scraping against wood. With a sinking feeling in the pit of her stomach, Emily realized that they were not alone in the house. There was something, or someone, else with them, lurking in the darkness and biding its time until the moment was right to strike. Summoning all her courage, Emily grabbed a flashlight and ventured into the shadows, her heart pounding in her chest as she searched for the source of the ominous noise. But as she rounded the corner into the hallway, she came face to face with a sight that filled her with terror. Standing before her was a figure cloaked in darkness, its features obscured by the gloom as it watched her with cold, unseeing eyes. With a gasp of horror, Emily realized that this was the silent watcher, the entity that had been haunting their home and stalking them through the night. Paralyzed with fear, Emily could only watch helplessly as the silent watcher advanced towards her, its movements slow and deliberate as it reached out a spectral hand towards her. And then, with a sudden burst of movement, it lunged forward, its icy touch sending a shockwave of terror coursing through Emily's veins. With a scream that echoed through the empty halls of the house, Emily turned and fled, her footsteps echoing in the darkness as she raced towards the safety of the outside world. Behind her, she could hear the sound of laughter, a chilling, mocking sound that seemed to follow her all the way back to town. From that night on, Emily and Tommy never spoke of their encounter with the silent watcher, and the horror that had unfolded in their home remained a dark secret buried deep within their memories. But somewhere, in the depths of the forest that surrounded Ravenwood, the silent watcher continued its eternal vigil, waiting patiently for its next unsuspecting victim to cross its path. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video so you never miss an upload.